If you're just starting out with low content publishing and you're feeling a little bit stuck when it comes to generating ideas to get you going, stick around and I'm gonna share with you five of my favorite ways to generate a nice long list of ideas that you can come back to again and again so that you're never stuck wondering what type of book to create next. And if this whole idea of low content publishing is totally brand new to you and you wanna find out how you can start generating passive income, creating and selling journals, planners, notebooks, and more on the Kindle Direct Publishing platform, download my free guide, Three Steps to Publishing Your First Low Content Book in Less Than a Day. I have linked to that down in the description below. So the first and easiest way to generate a list of ideas for your low content books is just to head straight on over to Amazon and do some browsing. First, you're going to want to open up an incognito window in Chrome. This is basically just going to remove Amazon's search bias. Then head over to the bestsellers list, hit bestsellers and more, then print bestsellers. And here you can just check out the main bestsellers list. You can also check out the menu on the left hand side and go down all of the different categories to see what all of the bestsellers in each of those categories are. And of course, pay special attention to whatever the low content books that are showing up in those categories are. You'll usually see quite a few in the self-help category as well as crafts, hobbies, and home. Another thing you can do on Amazon is just to take whatever broad book idea you've got going on in your head and type that into the search bar. When you start typing in whatever that idea is, you're going to see a drop down menu appear and you can just see the different variations of whatever your main idea is. So for example, if I start typing in guest book, the drop down is going to open up and I'm going to see a guest book for wedding, guest book for baby shower, guest book for vacation home, guest book for holiday rental. So that's really just going to allow me to drill down a little bit deeper into what my initial idea already was. And of course, the more you can narrow down into that niche and drill down, the more successful you're probably going to be. You also want to keep track of whatever these keyword phrases are in the drop down menu are because those are actual real keywords. And a keywords, of course, are the real words and phrases that actual shoppers are typing into Amazon search bar when they're looking for a book like yours. Those are going to come in handy later during the publishing process. So if you see any there, you're going to want to copy them down. Now, keywords, of course, are the real words and phrases that actual shoppers have typed into Amazon when looking for a book like yours. You're going to need some of these keywords during the publishing process later on. So if you see any keywords in the drop down menu that relate to your original book idea, it's a good idea to jot them down now. Another way to come up with ideas on Amazon is to get back into that search bar and just start typing out letters of the alphabet. So type in A, then type in B, then type in C. And as you're doing that, you're just taking note of anything that's showing up in that drop down menu that is some sort of low content book idea. You can go through the entire alphabet in this way. And once you've gotten through that entire alphabet, you can go right back to A and then you can type in another A and then B and then C. And you can do that for every single letter in the alphabet going as deep as you'd like to go. Finally, still on Amazon, if you find a cool looking low content book that's selling really well, you can just click on that book's author page and you can see what other books that author has done and see if there's any cool ideas. Now, of course, you don't ever wanna be copying someone. You're just using this as inspiration and coming up with just ideas for different low content books that you could do so that you can create your own unique book. All right, the next way to come up with some ideas for your low content books, is basically just a brainstorming exercise and that's to think about different hobbies and interests. Are you involved in any clubs, sports, games, anything like that where a low content book might come in handy or just work really well with whatever that hobby or interest is? And then expand outward. Think about the hobbies and interests of your family, of your friends, and just the public at large. Try and get obscure with this as well. Think about hobbies and interests that a lot of people don't know about. So you can think about more general hobbies and interests, things like uh, gardening, hunting, knitting, bodybuilding. So maybe like a gardening notebook, a hunting logbook a knitting pattern sketchbook, a fitness planner. Also try and come up with obscure hobbies and interests if you can, ones that not a lot of people are really familiar with. The third way is also a brainstorming exercise and this is just to think about pop culture. So you wanna think about slang, catchphrases, memes, popular expressions that certain interest groups say or kids especially. Uh, listening to kids is a really great way to come up with some of these ideas. Pay attention to what younger people are saying on TV shows and in movies. Think about humorous phrases, snarky phrases. Look at things on t-shirts. So some examples could be things like sorry not sorry or hunky dory or busy AF. These types of phrases have always done really well on my books. People just love anything that's gonna make them laugh. There's also like a bit of an in-group element to it. People see some of these phrases and they think, oh, I get that and they laugh and it just feels like it's for them. One thing to really look out for here, make sure whatever the phrase is that you're using is not trademarked. 
Some of these phrases, you know, if a celebrity has said it or something like that, some of them will be trademarked. So you can just head on over to the USPTO database, type in that phrase and just make sure that it's not either trademarked already or if someone hasn't tried to register it for a trademark. So the next one is old school and it involves just getting away from your computer entirely and just going to an actual physical bookstore. Go and check out that section that has all of those journals and notebooks and planners and just take a look at the different styles that are currently trending. You know, you want to be looking at the contents as well, but also just pay special attention to the design. Are there any colors that are trending, uh, fonts, just general design aesthetics? This is just a great place to get some inspiration. And the, the great thing about being in the bookstore is you can actually pick up that book with your hands, have that full experience, flip through it. That kind of thing can just give you some inspiration that just looking at a, a physical book on a screen just simply can't do. The last way to come up with ideas, and I think this is kind of a really fun and creative way, is to just start combining different niches at random. So you're gonna, in one side, create a list of low content book ideas. So, you know, journal, daily planner, guest book, just think of as many as you can. And then in the right hand column, just come up with a huge idea of different themes. So that could be cats, teacher, mother, daughter, gardening, horses, whatever you can think of, make it as long as you want, and then just start combining both columns just at random. So in column one, you could have cats, coffee, mother, daughter, and gardening. Column two, you could have prayer journal, daily planner, log book. And then from there, you might come up with a cat themed prayer journal, a coffee loving teacher's daily planner, or a mother, daughter, gardening log book. So just kind of a fun and creative way to just start coming up with some interesting combinations that you might not have thought of previously. So I hope that helps you come up with some fun and interesting low content book ideas for your next low content book. Again, if you're just getting started, don't forget to download my free guide, Three Steps to Publishing Your First Low Content Book in Less Than a Day, down below. Check out these videos next for some more on low content publishing. And if you like this video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified every time I put out one of these videos every single Monday. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.